So I'm going for uh, to do a trade. Show you guys what I'm gonna be giving up, you know, from the box. Metallic purple, for these like literally one. And then I got a pair of neutral gray lows and Kobe Bruce Lee's. You can take a guess. I'll be getting two shoes back, two pairs back. Take a guess based on the values. Let me know if I lost in this trade. <laughs> Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you what I got from that trade later on in this video. And today will be another vlog. Obviously, I'm not gonna be as lucky as last time being able to find those dunks just sitting in store. But let's see what sneakers we can find this time in Toronto. I'm gonna start off at the Foot Locker where magic happened last time. Uh, the Jordan section really had nothing. So here's the Adidas section. They have the new uh, Lego Ultra Boost uh, in this blue colorway. I mean, even if you're a Lego fan, I'm just not really feeling this one. Uh, probably gonna go on sale soon. And they also had this uh, red colorway as well. Interesting colorway for the Reebok Question Mid, but um, I think you just gotta go with an all white with a color toe for that classic look. Other than that, nah. And then looking at the Puma section, um, they have this new basketball model, I believe it's called the Court Rider in this Rugrat collaboration, which looks kind of cool. Most of the stores have gotten a bunch of these Toon Squad or um, Space Jam collection with a new movie coming out. Uh, this is a LeBron 8 Space Jam. It's got that um, Toon Squad logo on the tongue, black colorway with a shiny look to it. It's pretty interesting. I remember what I said about the Waffle Ones last time. They're on sale now, 25% off. Converse G4 Draymond Green PE. Ugh. So then I move on to Champs. Pretty much nothing here too. Uh, they do have the Jordan 5 Stealth. Other than that, some uh, Jordan 1 Tomb Comforts and also obviously a bunch of mids. And in this store, their basketball shoes, a lot of them are on sale for pretty decent prices. You just saw the Zoom Freak 2 is going for $79. Uh, and then also the Puma RS Dreamer. This is the first colorway that came out. I remember when they first released, it was just almost impossible to find. I don't know what Puma did there. And then another pretty good deal is the Under Armour in Beat 1 going for $79. And then I'm at the Nike store inside Eaton Center. A little lineup to go to the shoe section. Uh, this is, I think, the best Nike store in the Toronto area, just in terms of the sneaker selections that they have. So if you watch my review on the Jordan 1 Electro Orange, which is doing pretty well for me actually, uh, you'll know that I was able to find these on the shelves here last time, which is a pretty good find at a retail store. Also a good variety of Air Force Ones, the St. Patrick's, the Spades, also they got the LeBron 18 Low Space Jam, kind of like that pink swoosh on there. And also the Air Max 90 Infrareds they have in store, classic shoe. And then they have the Air Force One Fly Leather. I believe it's a collab with a Japanese artist. It's got that sort of paintbrush, uh, watercolor vibe, which is a very cool touch on the Air Force One. And then inside Eaton Center, there's another Foot Locker uh, where I saw the brand new Zoom Freak 3s. Aesthetically, I think they look better than the Zoom Freak 2s. It's also my first time seeing them in hand, but I'll be waiting for more colorways to drop. Um, this one's not bad, but there's gonna be a lot better ones. And then the Air Tune Max is on sale, 25% off. I mean, this this is just an ugly colorway, but it is a classic shoe. I believe they haven't retro this in like almost 20 years. Still a pass though. Foot action, 
Waffle ones also going on sale for 25% off. You'll probably see them at this price everywhere. Bunch of Air Prestos. Zoom Free 2 in this Letter Bros colorway going for $99. If it's any cheaper, I would have bought them. Uh, Kyrie 4 Lows, also 25% off. Great outdoor performer. If you care about Under Armour, this store has all the colorways for the Curry 8. Always on sale too, depending on what in-store event they have going on. And that's about it for what's inside Eden Center this time. Then I went to Size Toronto, located on the western side of Queen Street. It's their first ever store here in Canada. I believe it just opened about two weeks ago. And it's also my first time here, so I'm gonna go in and see how the store looks like. Not gonna lie, I actually do like the layout of the store. Uh, the way they display their shoes. It's not like too crowded, so it's like overwhelming. They have the Georgetown Jordan 3s and also the Jordan 1 Light Fusion Red. These are kind of like everywhere in the stores now. And also the new Jordan 12 Twist. So this store location was previously a bank, uh, which is why you see the store uh, use these lockers or uh, safety deposit boxes, I should say, uh, to display the shoes. And they also have a vault, I guess it's used to display rare and also higher tier shoes, such as their own collaboration with Adidas. Um, overall, it's just a cool concept and I do like the interior design of the store. And look at this EZ700 just sitting everywhere. I guess nobody wants them. Time to see what I got back. I think you can already tell from the box. You know what these are. What do you think? It's just shoes, she said. The other one is, uh, I'll tell you now. It's the uh, Alcorn. Better than the new Union? Yeah, yeah. Black or white? Depends on who wears it. What do you think? Did I win or lose this trade? Or is it a fair, even trade? So that's it for this video. For me, I really wanted the Union Jordan Force. That's why I pulled the trigger. I might have reached a little bit in this trade, but let me know what you think. And also thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I do upload every three days. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. Have a nice day.